This is the framework for a suicide risk assessment. It's not just asking about ideation, intent, or plan. It's really going for probing for those risk factors, the past history. Have they had a suicide attempt? Um, some research actually shows that going to the patient's moment of worst, most severe suicidality is actually the most predictive in terms of future behavior. So you could even ask them, when have you felt the worst when you actually were thinking about taking your life the most or you actually took steps to do that? Screening also for intent and ambivalence. We've talked about that, desire to, to live versus to die, and asking them how that works for them. Help them be a student of their own um, inner workings and their mental health. Ask them about access to lethal means. In most states, except for Florida, where there is a law in the books that is very unfortunate, um, but even in Florida, if your patient is at risk for suicide, I would absolutely recommend, you don't have to ask them if they own a firearm or if they have lethal means. Just say, if you have access to lethal means in your home, now would be the time to store that safely, to give it over to a trusted person for a temporary period of time while you're in this state of risk. And, and that give them hope. It's not going to be a forever state. Assess their protective factors, their sense of connection, and then document um, your findings. That is an excellent suicide risk assessment. 